Hey guys, I hope that you are having a great day so far. I hope that your first day of your fast went really well. Uh, I got some messages from some of y'all that uh, you're already sensing and getting opposition. There's just things happening in your life that uh, are kind of beating you down. I just want to encourage you to stay encouraged, uh, to know that uh, obviously God has plans for this fast for you uh, personally and on a ministry level. And uh, I just want you to stay encouraged. Now, and I just wanted to read this passage. I was going through it, and I've come back to it uh, two days in a row, actually, but it's in Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 1, uh, verse 19, it says this, I pray that you will begin to understand the incredible greatness of his power for us who believe in him. This is the same power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now, he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else in this world or in the world to come. And God has put all things under the authority of Christ. And he gave him this authority for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. And it is filled by Christ who fills everything everywhere with his presence. And so I just want you to just let that soak into your soul on whatever level you need it to. Um, stay encouraged and know that, that Christ lives in you and you are in Christ. And so we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength, right? Um, so as we get into day two of our fast, I want us to start honing in our focus on uh, how we're going to be praying. And so, of course, you want to take all your prayers and petitions to the Lord, but we want to really be focused in today on our marriages and on our families. Um, and I want us to really think about that and really be just praying for that because uh, we have to be able to be good stewards of our relationships at home and uh, when it, where our students aren't seeing us um, is really where it matters the most. And so um, none of us have perfect marriages, including me. None of us have perfect homes, including me. Uh, but our pursuit of the Lord um, and really allowing him to shape us and mold us into the image of his son uh, through sacrificial love and being able to, uh, to give more and to forgive quicker and to have more patience, which is one of the fruits of the spirit and all those things. Um, we need those in our homes. And so uh, maybe you're having a rough week this week relationally at, at your house. And so um, either way, we just need to really focus in this week. And so today we're going to be focusing on our marriages and on Dom families. So as you pray today throughout the day, uh, let that be the, the, the main focus of your heart and your prayers as you uh, pursue God through this fast. And so stay encouraged. Know that uh, Christ is the ruler over every authority. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And so uh, we are on the winning side. So stay encouraged. I love you guys. And uh, let's continue to pursue him. Have a wonderful day.